Well, parents here in Parkdale are sounding the alarm bells after learning their children's elementary school is about to lose a wide variety of special programs geared at helping students from low income neighborhoods. Tonight, why parents here are fearing that the population boom is affecting social and learning opportunities for their kids. Our community of South Parkdale is still a struggling and developing community. We have a lot of people that are living below the poverty line. One, two, three. Liz, a low income parent and mother of three, contacted City News after learning Queen Victoria has lost its model school status, a TDSB program aimed at bringing vital resources to children with greater challenges. Things like subsidized field trips. Um, coupons at the end of the school year and uh, healthy child screenings, which I think is a, a very important component of the model schools as they bring in hearing, vision, specialists all uh, into the school and your child goes to see them. Debbie's seven-year-old daughter is also a student here. It was through having a screening that we were advised that she have a full eye exam. That's how we came to learn that she did need eye care uh, and she's been wearing eyeglasses since she was four. There are 150 schools in Toronto that qualify for this program. The TDSB tells us it reviews these model schools every three years and looks at a variety of factors such as median income, the number of families on social assistance assistants and adults with low education and this is all based on where the students live. Queen Victoria failed to qualify for the special funding by a fraction of a point. We are concerned that this is reflected having a 20 percent population student population bust in from other areas that have different economic profiles could be affecting the data. In this case, uh, we do have a gifted program at the school that does see students come in from outside the typical boundary. Uh, over the years, schools change as far as where students are coming from. And in this case, uh, when you have different students coming in, it can change the numbers. Parents say there were no consultations and are calling on the TDSB to review its decision. I think mainly it's hard to understand because we don't have access to the information. So we're really relying relying on what we've been told without having a look at it ourselves. Uh, and if it is that small of a discrepancy, then I think we can absolutely look at the accuracy. Now, Queen Victoria will be given transitional funding, so some of those special programs will continue for one more year. Then uh, the status here will then be reviewed again three years from now, so that will happen in 2020. But parents say with the growing boundaries and gentrification, this school will never likely will likely never again qualify for that extra funding.